love you, Lord. I 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 love you, Lord. Say that, Lord, I thirst for you. Say, Lord, I thirst for you. I thirst for you, Lord. I thirst for your presence. I thirst for your goodness. Sweet Holy Spirit of God, today we want to appreciate your presence in our midst today. We want to thank you, Lord. There have never been, there will never be such a loving, caring dad like you are. We surrender ourselves to you and we commit all that we have, all that is within us unto you, Lord. We have surrendered all to you, Lord. Everything we have, we have given unto you. We ask that Holy Spirit, you shall minister to each one of us, Lord, today. Overshadow your children with a cloud of glory and with the presence of the Almighty. Oh, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. I surrender to you. Everything I give to you. I surrender.
Thank you, Jesus. Our online viewers, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you can uh, text a friend, share with a friend, and let them know that the past is on air and that the service is going on, and it will be a blessing to you. The book of John 14. The book of John 14. This is the same John the Revelator, the author of the book of Revelation, one of the beloved, the most beloved disciple of Jesus Christ. And for those of you who know, what does John mean? John means what? Love. John means love. They are gathered, right? Amen. You there? John 14? Are you at John 14? We are going to read from verse 16, verse 8, up to verse 18. Uh, up to, uh, let me say, let's go up to verse 20. The book of John, chapter 14. If you are there, say amen. Good. The Bible says, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another comforter. That is a counselor, a helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, and a standby. That he may remain with you forever. He may remain with you for how long? Yes, that is the amplified version. Verse 17 from the New Living Translation, the Bible says, He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive Him because it isn't looking for Him and doesn't recognize Him. But you know Him because he lives amongst you now and later will be in you. Now, where you find the word, the world cannot receive him. Have you seen the place? Have you seen the place? That name, world, in Greek is translated cosmos. That's where you get the word cosmopolitan, cosmos. Cosmos means the system governing or leading the world, okay? Are you there? The world, the system. That's why when you are born again, you are no longer under the influence of cosmos. You are no longer under the influence of the system of the world. You have passed from cosmos into sonship. Verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. The New Living Translation says, No, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. Verse 19. Soon the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Since I live, you will also live. The world will not see me. What is the world? Cosmos. The cosmos will not see him because they do not belong to him, because they are not in him. But for you, you will see him because he lives in you. Verse 20. When I am raised to life again, you will know that I am in, so I am in my father and you are in me and I am in you. What does that mean? There are three words here. I am in the father, you are in me, and I am in you. Meaning me, you, and the Father, we are one. Is that okay? Now, I'm talking about the Holy Spirit and me. In the scripture you'll find another, a lot of names describing the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is a person. Some call him the Spirit of the Lord. 
Some call him the angel of the Lord. Some call him different names. In the Old Testament, he used to manifest in form of dove, rain, fire, wind, and all those things. People think that God is up here, Jesus is here, and the Holy Spirit is lower. I want to make this statement categorically that the Holy Spirit is God. I'll repeat that again. The Holy Spirit is God. Jesus is God. And God, God. Okay. There are three type of faith theory around today. This faith theory, number one, is called Puritans. The Puritans are the ones that you have seen them. They believe they only have one doctrine and they are running with that same, same doctrine, one doctrine. For example, repentance. This is what we are told. So even if you repented last week, they're still telling you to repent. Again, to repent. To repent. Wengine wakona ile wanavaa nguo fulani wakona uniform. Have you seen churches whereby they have uniform, whereby every day must have a certain uniform? They are called Puritans. They regard everyone else as sinner except them. We have another second faith theory called Unitarian. The Unitarians, these are the people who come and say there's nothing like the Holy Spirit, there's nothing like Father and the Son. They say we only have Jesus. So even if you are baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they said you are baptized in the name of John. You are baptized in the baptism of John. Therefore, you need to be baptized again. Are you talking these people? Huh? Yes, that is called Unitarian, and they are wrong. That theory is wrong. Okay? Then we have the last group which I belong in. It's called Trinitan. Trinitan. Tell your neighbor Trinitan. Trinitan is a theory that believes in Trinity. Trinitan is a theory that believes in Trinity. You believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Meaning the same God, but different names based on functionalities. Are you there? To you, I am your pastor. To my son, I am who? I'm dad. To my wife, I am who? Husband. To my mother, I am who? To my friends, have I changed? I am the same person, but having different names based on who knows me from my area of functionality. God in heaven, when he was thinking about everything to do, he spoke. When he spoke, the word became flesh. The, when the word became flesh, it means God became human to save human. Who is this human? Jesus Christ. Are you there? In Jesus, he spoke the word. It's the, Jesus is the spoken word. But when the word is spoken, the Holy Spirit functions does everything the word has spoken. The same God, when he speaks, it's Jesus speaking. When he functions, the Holy Spirit functions. So in other words, another name for the Holy Spirit, which is not indicated in the Bible, but is the best one for you to understand, another name for the Holy Spirit 
is Jesus unlimited. Amen. Say Jesus unlimited. That's why the Greek word for Holy Spirit, the, the Greek word for spirit is neum. Neum. Neum means spirit. So everybody born again, the neum of the Lord is in you. Meaning, the life of Christ has made its tabernacle in you. Therefore, you are not just the one living, but Jesus Christ living in you. Why? Because the life of Christ is in you. When you wake up in the morning, the life of Christ is displayed. Whatever you do, the life of Christ is being displayed. So, you are the living, the living Spirit of God on earth. That is why when you read the word of God, when you feed yourself with the word of God, and you decide to practice the word of God, now you release what you call the dunamis, the power of God invested in the word, released by the power dwelling inside of you. I hope I'm not leaving behind anyone. Now, Another Greek word for the Holy Spirit is what you call parakletos. Tell your name, parakletos. Muambia parakletos. Parakletos means another of the same kind. Now, let me use this example. If you are married and your wife dies, do you marry another wife or now you marry a man because the first one was a wife? If you are married to a wife, I'm, talk, I'm using an example for a, a wife. Or maybe say, let me say a, 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 a man now, a, a, a wife now. You are married, okay, you are a man and you had married a wife. Are we there? By bad luck, this wife dies or he lives. Do you now marry a man or you still marry another wife? Huh? huh? You marry what? Now, that another wife, she's not that one who left, but she is like that one who left. You left, the, the one who left was a woman, you have married another woman. Are you together? Now, when Jesus was leaving the earth to the heavens, after living on earth for 40 days after resurrection, the Bible says, Jesus said, where we have read, I'm not going to leave you like orphans. I will send you another. Paracletos. Another. Another helper. Another. Remember, Jesus was a helper. Jesus was a comforter. Jesus was a healer. Jesus was a redeemer. Jesus was a savior. Jesus was Lord. Now he's living. But he leaves behind another. Who is this now? another helper, another Christ. In other words, Jesus left in form of the body. When God is in heaven, he cannot be seen. But when he wanted to be seen into the body, he became human being so that he can be seen. Colossians chapter 1 verse 15. The Bible says, Jesus is the image of of the unseen God on earth. In other words, if you want to see that God we cannot see in heaven, if you want to see him, you see who? Jesus. If God decides to take a selfie, the image that will appear in that selfie is Jesus. If God takes a selfie, who will appear in that selfie? Jesus. Now, Jesus came to deliver the world. After he has delivered the world, he now needs to save, uh, to redeem, preserve the world. He cannot do that in the body form he had. Because in the body form he had, he came to save. Why was he saving mankind in the body? It is because the sin of a man must be removed. 
by the blood of a human being. And since there's no human being whose blood was pure to save, to redeem another mankind. Therefore, Jesus, God, had to become human being. How? He had to take the spirit of God and the body of a woman. You're not getting me. A woman provides the body. But God provides the spirit. Are you there? Therefore, God had to allow himself Himself, who is the spirit, born of the word of God. He had to become a living seed inside the body of a woman. Why was he born of a woman? Because he needed to have a body. God needed to have a body. And for you to have a body, you must go through a woman. Therefore, the seed was provided by God. The body was provided by a woman. That is why the Bible says in the book of Genesis, from, 30, from, from chapter, chapter 3, that the seed of a woman will crush your head, not the seed of a man. The seed of a woman, because Mary, being a woman, had no DNA of a man in him, to give birth to Jesus Christ. He only had the seed of God. And since she was a woman, she provided, she offered God the opportunity to produce the body that God can incarnate into that body. Why was that happening? Listen to me, child of God. Listen to this. Sin is transferred by a man and not by a woman. Seed is carried and transferred by another seed which has the DNA. Therefore, any human being who has a biological father, no matter how great you are, you are a sinner. And therefore, you cannot be able to save another human being. And that is why I want you to understand that even though Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the prophet, that the, that the Muslim worship as a prophet, he was a great prophet and a great teacher. But still, he cannot be able to save another human being. Why? Because in his blood, he has the DNA of a human being. Every human being who has the seed of another human being or the DNA of another being is a sinner because sin is transferred by a man therefore he is a sinner not because he committed sin but because he was born of a human being who was a sinner therefore he cannot be able to forgive to redeem to cleanse the sin of another human being krishna was a good teacher but Krishna had a biological father. And because Krishna had a biological father, he cannot be able to cleanse sin because everybody who has a biological father is born a sinner. And in his DNA, there is sin because in his DNA, he has something that looks like another human being. Are you there? Jesus comes as a seed of a woman. Because in Jesus, the seed of the word was spoken. Every child of God born again that you are here, you have been born by the spirit of the Lord. But you are being preserved. But you are being preserved and trained and nurtured by the word of God. You didn't hear what I said. You have been born of the spirit. But you are being raised up, nurtured. By the word of God. The spirit gave birth to you. The word raises you up. The spirit gives birth to you. But the word raises you up. So when Jesus was being born. There is no DNA that can be compared to any human being on earth. Meaning Jesus had no DNA of a man. The blood of Jesus had no man as a father. For your information, the Bible says that the angel spoke the word that Mary you shall conceive and you shall have a child. 
and this child they made us how is it going to happen and the bible said that the angel said the holy ghost will over overshadow you and you shall conceive it is the word of god that was spoken to the womb of mary that conceived was conceived as a child mary offered the flesh god gave the spirit mary offered the flesh god gave the spirit mary offered the flesh but god gave the spirit therefore jesus is born only carrying only one type of chromosome from a human being he was carrying the chromosome of a man oh of a woman he was having the 23 chromosome in other words he was having a human being in him 23 but the 23 other chromosomes which are supposed to come from the father they were missing jesus christ he had no biological father he had no nothing no trace if you take his blood to the for dna into the laboratory there is nothing that can match to that blood of jesus christ meaning that the blood of jesus christ he has no seed which because the seed that gave birth to jesus christ was the pure word of god it was the spirit of god it was the neum neum does not have blood neum does not carry the dna it's a spiritual entity neum is a spiritual power every child of god born again and you are here when you get born again you receive the neum the power of the almighty the spirit of god makes his tabernacle inside of you therefore you are living your movement your functionality is based on where you are carrying for coming from from the dna where is the dna the dna is the seed coming from the spirit of the lord now listen when jesus is born he had the flesh from a woman but he had no dna from any man that is why as much as krishna muhammad Buddha, they are all powerful and good teachers with good giftings, but they cannot save you because they both had a biological father. And because they had a biological father, it means that in their blood, they carried sin. You cannot use dirty water to wash your cloth. Your cloth will remain dirty. You can only use clean, clean water to wash your cloth. Therefore, the only blood that has ever existed that had got no trace of of human being dna it is only and only and only the blood of jesus christ son of the living god and because the blood of jesus christ had no dna of a of a human being it has got the power and the ability not just to wash away your sin to cleanse you from all unrighteousness to justify you and to forgive you your past sin your present sin and your future sin i'm here to announce to you that the blood of jesus has not just dealt with what you did yesterday it has dealt even with what you are doing right now it has dealt with what you are going to do tomorrow it has dealt with what you are going to do in future because the blood of jesus christ has the power to forgive you from your past present and your future whatever jesus was doing was not for him now was not for him yesterday was for him for now tomorrow and even forevermore and listen to me child of god he came to save and to deliver mankind and after jesus had redeemed you he needed to preserve you until the day he comes back for you again on the last day jesus will not save you and leave you and abandon you on the way you are not born again to suffer again he has not called you into christ so that you can be saved and continue suffering am i talking to somebody in the house today the jesus we are talking about here he came to save you and he's also in the business of preserving you he's in the business of redeeming you he's in the business of keeping you safe and that you are going to remain safe until the day he comes back again for you but he could not do that in the body listen because when he was in the body he was the king of the jewel am i talking to somebody jesus was the king of the jew but christ is the king of the world jesus was the king of the israelites but christ is the king of the world when he came in the flesh people were able to kill him i want you to understand why did 
they killed Jesus Christ. And who killed Jesus Christ? The Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes, the teachers of the law, and the religious leaders. They killed Jesus Christ because according to them, Moses had given them the law. He had told them what to do and what not to do. They were living under the leadership of Moses, under the guideline of Moses, where he had given them the precepts, what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do. But Jesus Christ comes again with another gospel. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 17, the law was given by Moses, but love, truth and grace, it came through Jesus Christ. Jesus came with grace. Jesus came with love. Jesus came with the truth. The Bible says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am life. No one goes to the Father except me. And he says in John chapter 8, and that you shall know the truth. And the truth that you shall know. And only that truth shall make you free. Am I talking to somebody here? As you know the truth, who is Christ Jesus? He shall make you free. Listen, child of God, Jesus is not here to save you and to leave you and to abandon you. You're not here to be born again and to suffer on your way as you enter, you go to die. You are here to be saved. Those who are in Christ Jesus, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 1, that therefore there is no, no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. If you are born again, you are in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation in you. There's no judgment in you. There's no accusation in you. There's no bad names in you. There's no penalty for sin in you. There's no torture for the wickedness in you. For whatsoever you committed, I want to bring to your attention that Jesus punished your sin, on, that God punished your sin on Jesus. Jesus had to become a body, to have a body, so that that body can be tortured and that your sin and iniquities can be punished on the body of Jesus Christ. Therefore, the body of Jesus was punished. Can I speak to somebody here? When they were punishing Jesus Christ, it was your sin that was punishing him. When they were nailing Jesus on the cross, your sins were being nailed on the cross. When they were torturing him, all your iniquities and your evil were being tortured. The book of Isaiah 53, the Bible says when you read from the beginning, like an innocent lamb being led to the slaughter, Jesus was laid there and the Bible Bible says he took our iniquity, he took our pain, he took all our blasphemies, he took all that we were supposed to be done to us. You were supposed to die, but on your behalf, Jesus died so that you no longer need to die. You are supposed to be punished on your behalf. He was punished so that you're not supposed to be punished. You were supposed to be killed and to be sentenced, but nothing happened because Jesus Christ, he took your position. I I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. I want you to understand that all the punishment, all the evil handwriting of the enemy concerning my situation has already been dealt with. And listen to me, child of God. When Jesus came, the Bible says, I came to look to seek and to save that which was lost. For the Bible John 10, 10 says, a thief comes but to kill, to steal and to destroy. But I, Jesus, I came that you may have life and you may have it more abundantly. Jesus came that you may have life. You may have it more abundantly. According to the law, you were supposed to be punished for every sin you commit and Jesus realized my son cannot hold this anymore he can't handle he cannot handle this anymore what I'm going to do today I am going to die on his behalf whatever was supposed to happen to you Jesus allowed it to happen to him and when Jesus died on the cross he looked around he opened up his voice his mouth and he said in one loud voice it is finish meaning all the predicaments all the torture all the suffering all the law all the punishment all the evil that was meant for Bonfast to undergo he was saying Bonfast my your torture is over your sickness are over your curses are over your predicaments you are over your luck is over your poverty is over your distress is over your your rejection is over. Your pain is over. Everything is 
over and the Bible says that the curtain of the temple it was torn into two from the top to the bottom meaning Jehovah God was giving me a direct access I don't need no human being to go ahead of me to seek for God in the Old Testament they were asking who shall go ahead of me that I can get my salvation who can go ahead of me and get the Lord together for, for me I'm here to announce to a child of God oh we are serving a God who is not like a human being let all human beings be liars when God arise he came they looked at him they were jealous about my freedom I don't know who I'm talking to listen to me listen to me when the devil realized, despise the pun the evil that Bonfas has committed, he need to be punished. He became jealous. He said, I will see what will happen of him. I will kill this Jesus so that Bonfas has nothing to brag about. He has no one to run to for his salvation. He has no one who can redeem him. They took Jesus like an innocent lamb. Oh, they tied him. They killed him on a tree. And they said, let us see what will happen with him. There's one thing they never knew about what they were doing. The power of Jesus was never in the miracles he was performing. The power of Jesus was never in healing the sick. The power of Jesus was not only on redeeming sinners. The power of Jesus Christ was not manifested in walking on water. The power of Jesus was not manifested in healing the blind, in opening the wombs of the barren people. The power of Jesus was not on healing the cripple and the deva, but the power of Jesus was manifested on the dead day, on the cross. Because if it's about the miracle he was performing, they were existing for those who were existing. By then I was not existing. But who is God? Let God arise. All men shall be scattered. Jehovah God, he had me in his mind. And he said, if I don't die, Bonfast will never have me anymore. And remain the king of the Jew, the savior of the Jew. And therefore the Bible says willingly tell the na your neighbor willingly say willingly Jesus Christ he never uttered a word why was he quiet all the long because he had Bonfast in his mind he said if I ever change this Bonfast will never have salvation if I ever change this Johnny will never be saved he kept quiet why was he keeping quiet he said these people are short sighted they don't understand listen to me child of God they killed one Jesus on the cross at Calvary they killed one Jesus at the place of the skull at Golgotha and Jesus said to the disciple before he left that be happy because I go because if I go I will send a helper what was he saying Jesus was saying if I go I will incarnate again God was saying when I wanted to come and visit you and deliver you I became human being now that they have killed you I'm not a done with you. Your case is not finished. I still have something in store for you. Therefore, let them kill me because I'm about to come back again as another helper, as another comforter, as another advocate, as another savior. I'm coming back again with the name of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. It means this is Jesus unlimited. Listen to this. Before Jesus died, he could only appear at one place at one time. He was in one place, Jerusalem. He was in the house 
when they were eating together. Even when Judah came to betray him, he could not run. He was in the same place. He became Christ. When he resurrected, he became Christ. Christ means the Messiah, the anointed, the spirit incarnate, the Jesus unlimited. He said from today, the battle of my children over their enemies is over now. Is over now. Is over now. Listen to this. You want to hear this? You want to hear this? They killed one Jesus in Jerusalem. But today, Jesus is in you. Jesus is in you. Jesus is in you. Jesus is in you. Even if they kill all of you here today, Jesus is still alive. Jesus is still alive. Jesus is still alive. He is alive. And then he said, those days I used to be amongst them. I'm no longer go, just going to be amongst them. I will be in them. And he said, I will not leave you, nor forsake you. Now listen to me, child of God. Even if it means just introduce this today and we continue next week, I'll do that. Listen to this. Jesus incarnated into spirit called the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is not just here. For, to help you speak in tongues. He is, when you read the book of Job, chapter 26, verse 13. Now, there's something I want you to understand here. I told you, the Holy Spirit is God. Jesus is God. And God is God. That means, that was not the time the Holy Spirit was manifesting on earth for the first time. He was there from the beginning. <clears throat> Are you there? He became flesh. He became spirit again. The book of Job 6 verse 13, the Bible says, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord, he garnished the heavens. What's to garnish the heaven? He beautified the heaven. He beautified the heaven when it was created i'm here to announce to you today for every spiritual or physical beautification you have ever thought of in your life the holy spirit is not only here but also ready to beautify your life and to make all things beautiful Listen to me, child of God. When the Lord beautifies your life, everything about you will be beautiful. Everything you touch with your hands will be beautiful. Anything you plan to do will be beautiful. Even your mind will be beautiful. Because he's the one who garnished the heaven before you were created. In other words, he has been there and he's still with you. Why is he here today? He is here to preserve you until Jesus Christ comes back for you as his church. For those of you who have a fridge at home, fridge is used to preserve the things you need to use tomorrow or later on so that they can't get spoiled and as long as your fridge is functioning well whatever will have been spoiled in a day it can stay for a month without being spoiled the journey Of redemption was done by Christ living here on earth is not easy but you know what 
Christ knows when he's coming back for the church. And therefore, you cannot walk this journey by yourself. You cannot preserve yourself here to come. Listen to me. If you learn how to work and cooperate with the Holy Spirit, you can have access to anything you want in life. The Holy Spirit is the deliverer of all the man's questions when they have been answered. The answer to all questions that you have, the deliverer is the Holy Spirit. The giver, the performer of any miracle you have ever thought of is the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. Where someone gives you a handkerchief as a mantle, it can work for a few days because it has been used as a mantle. But the handkerchief is not the Holy Spirit. Okay. Olive oil. Let me speak this even to those who are watching me online today. Olive oil. Oil from Jerusalem or Jericho or Israel does not have anointing. Does not have the Holy Spirit. They only become empowered when the Spirit is spoken unto them for a purpose of function. When I speak to this handkerchief, the power of the Holy Spirit, and give it to you, it will work for you, it will heal you. It has been used as a mantle, the carrier, not of the Holy Spirit, the carrier of the presence of the Holy Spirit, I carry. Because every mantle functions best on the carrier of the Holy Spirit. Every mantle works best on the carry of the Holy Spirit. There are things that work out of revelation. Never make them a doctrine. There's a day I was praying. My mom was almost dying. She was sick. She could not eat. Her teeth were already glued together. The eyes were in. She could not even hear people when they were talking. When I went there, Nikapato wamemtua chumba chandani wa sitting room. Watu wamejaa kwa boma wanafieka compound. As them, what are you doing? Atunatengiza two compounds as mine tunaza kuwa na wageni vitu kama hizo. Nikamuza wageni gani? Wakanema si hata ni mugeni. I look at them and realize I know what they are planning. Nikawambia today, you plan it a fail. I entered the house. I saw my mom laying there. Not talking. I told them, give me milk. Wakanipa maziwa. Nikawambia everybody out of this house. Wakatoka. I anointed the milk and I said, Lord, I command this milk to turn into the blood of Jesus. And as my mom drinks of this milk, her life is restored totality starting now. Nikachukua kijiko. Nikamshika mdomo. Nikaanza kumunyesha. I gave her three. And because meno, meno ameuma pamoja, maziwa ilikuwa inaingilia tu huku kando, Na inge ingia sana, akasema, imetosha, imetosha. Nika ambia, okay. Nika ambia, Lord, thank you for healing her. Thank you for giving her another life and another opportunity. Thank you for allowing me to see my mom alive and staying with her. After that, nika toka, haka niambia, haka kulala, hacha nilala ikidoka, kambia mamiku nika. Nikatoka, nilipotoka inje, 
nikasikia watu wanangonezana wakasema ukiona mtu amekuwa mgonjwa na for the last time anaongea anaaga watu anaaga nikamwambia hey you guys i have heard what you have said it will not happen sa kidogo my mom who had been sleeping on the bed for more than several months aka nikasikia anaitana mtu niamshe nataka kwenda kwenda haja ndogo anti zangu wengine walikuwa hapo wakaenda wakamshika watu wamekaa tu wananyamaza huyu wanasema huyu anatuaga huyu that's how we men are wakarudi aliporudi kwa nyumba akasema amechoka kulala amweke kwa kiti akae akakaa kwa kiti after one hour akasema i am hungry ile maziwa nilikuwa nimeiombea nikaleta tena nikampatia akakunywa nusu ya kijiko akakaa sasa aongei asemi kitu kina anaangalia tu watu huku watu nje wanaongea mambo yao tu ilipofika masaa saa kumi nikasema sasa mnafanya sikile mtaende kwao nikasema go home wakasema kama endeni nyumbani mama amechoka nataka kulala endeni nyumbani and listen to me baada ya hapo jioni mama akasema nataka uji wakampa uji akakunywa akalala alipolala watu kwa maboma wanalala wakiwa watu wametega nini sikio they want to hear what is going to happen she slept she slept in the morning auntie yangu ambaye anakaa karibu na yeye nilisikia anavunja vunja kuni nikauliza auntie ni nini akasema mgonjwa ana njaa nikasema okay anataka nini analia uji nikasema mpatie uji wakampa uji siku ikaenda wiki ikaisha miezi ikaisha by then i was not even married i'm now married niko na watoto and today she is still alive mpaka leo listen to me this god we are serving is the same yesterday today and forever and i want to declare something over your life this afternoon whatsoever people have been waiting to see happen in your life in your family in your body in the lives of your children in your career in whatever situation you have been i'm here as a man of god to announce and to declare that the holy spirit of god is not tired of working he is not he is not out of power he is not out of the strength and the ability he still has the same ability to perform and to function i'm here to declare in the name of jesus the holy ghost has the action to function for your actions and your life i want to announce to every child of god here you and your beloved you will not die before your age did you hear that these people might be hearing better you your family and those people closer to you for your sake because you are a carrier of Jesus Christ a representative of the kingdom of God an ambassador of eternity i'm here to announce today in the name of Jesus for your sake whatever men are wishing for whatever they are praying to see whatever their desire is whatever they are wishing and praying it shall not happen it shall not take place it shall not happen it shall not take place uh. it shall not happen uh. it shall not take place uh. not because you have a good doctor not because of your medicine not because of your ability it is not by power nor by might but by the spirit of the lord and i told my mom you will see my grandchildren too while you are still alive and she will from today i want you to change your trajectory change your mindset and declare right from inside 
am existing because I belong to God and because God has a good plan for me and therefore any gathering by anybody to discuss evil or to plan anything against me it shall not be by me for a thousand shall come on my side ten thousand shall come on my right hand side they shall not come near me for no spiritual or physical weapon that shall be fashioned against me no tongue will raise no finger will point no eye will look nothing in the hearts of men will come to change the plans of God concerning my life on earth today I belong to him I am his I belong to him I am his and he who created me he has the final word you may look weak now you may look like defeated the Bible says even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death you shall fear no evil for the Bible says those who wait upon the Lord shall be renewed their strength we are here to wait upon the Lord listen to me you are never late you are never late you are qualified Bible says if you have as little faith as the master seed you shall do what move the mountain that faith that caused you to be born again is more than the master seed become crazy and radical today and start declaring over your life there are somebody in the house you need to use the Holy Spirit to function for you today wherever you have been using uh, uh, listen to me you don't need to approach your boss and tell your boss promotion. you need to send the Holy Spirit while he's sleeping you will hear the Holy Spirit saying this man Charles has been here for so long it is time for his promotion it's time for his upliftment it's time for his establishment whoever you are not able to talk to your time has come you are lifting up is here and the Holy Ghost is about to take you to another level stand up on your feet child of God in the name of Jesus listen today that thing which has been looking so difficult for you do I have someone who has a situation that has been so hard and tough in his life do you have anyone do you have anyone with that you have a situation you feel like this is so tough this is so tough I feel like I'm late I have delayed it's taking too long I'm not moving nothing is happening the Holy Ghost is about to take over Lift up your hands before the Lord. I surrender all to you. We are, listen, just wait, just, just post on Salah. What we are doing is that everything, everything, your education, your family, your marriage, your business, your career, your relationships, we are surrendering all to him do not look at who is the person behind it we are surrendering them all to him and the holy ghost is about to visit you now are you there I want you to surrender. Don't care who is standing next to you, who is with you. Just surrender to him. He's about to visit. I surrender all to you.
Holy Spirit. Son, rest, you are mine. Amen. Rest, you are mine. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, your children have surrendered all to you today. Yes. And they have offloaded all that they had in their hearts, on their shoulders, in their minds, and in their lives. Holy Spirit your anointing breaks the yoke yes. and destroys every burden yes. and today thank you Holy Spirit thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you the Holy Spirit has ministered to me right now and he's saying he's healing every broken heart and bone Sweet Holy Spirit of God. Thank you. Sweet Holy Spirit of God, thank you. Can someone, for whatever you are praying for today, just lift your hand and give thanks to the Lord for it. Now. Just thank God for it now. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you for redeeming me. Thank you for restoring me. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, in the name of the Lord, I thank you for every child gathered in the house. 
I bless them, Lord. I bless their future. I bless their tomorrow. I bless their family. Every burden that was upon their shoulders and their lives is offloaded now. And your life is imparted in them. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord of Hosts. Thank you, Jesus. Before we finish the last prayer, you are here and you are not born again. You have never given your life to Jesus Christ. I want to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Lift up your hand. I want to pray with you. You are here. You are not born again. You have never given your life to Jesus Christ. Lift up your hand straight. I want to pray with you. You are here. You are not born again. You have never given your life to Jesus. I want to pray with you. Lift up your hand. Thank you. Now two prayers we finish for today. Number one. I want you to pray for any child you can remember who is going to sit for their national exam. Anza na wale watoto wa familia ya GMI na wengine wafate. Any child represented here and those who are not home who are our family and they are going to sit for the exam. Just lift up your hands and declare a word of blessing over their lives in the name of Jesus. Just pray for them. 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 children. Please, mommy, just come. My wife, come. I want you to pray for the children who are going to do for the exam. Father, we thank you for every candidate that is sitting for the exams. Amen. We declare your wisdom and the knowledge of the Lord upon them. We declare that they are the heads and not the tails. Amen. We speak the wisdom of God upon them. Amen. And whatsoever their teachers has taught them, yes. it shall be evident in their minds. Amen. We therefore crown them with victory and success. Amen. Good health is your portion. Amen. It is well with you wherever you are. Amen. You are winning. You are coming out victoriously. Amen. The Spirit of God is upon you. Amen. We dispatch angels into those rooms. And as you sit for your exam, the angel shall govern your minds. Yes. The angel shall go cause into remembrance Amen. that which your teachers have told them. Yes. Therefore, angels ensure our children are saved yes. and that they shall pass the exams Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 As your hands are still lifted up, yes. I want you to pray for all the countries around the world especially where we have war yes. there's no war that will happen to your neighborhood yes. and fail to reach you out uh, I call upon Pastor Berita to come over here we are praying for the, for the nations around the world yes. even those ones going through battle those going through battle the countries we know what's happening in Ukraine, what is happening in, the, in Russia, what's happening around the world. Lift up your hands right now and pray for Kenya. 
pray for Kenya and other countries around the world going through battle and war right now. Open your mouth and decree and declare in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every country going through war and battle. Pray for Kenya, even the election that is coming, even for the forthcoming election. Pray for Kenya. Pray, 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 pray that Lord will preserve Kenya, will preserve our countries, 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 will preserve other countries in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, Father Lord, we bless you. We give you worship, we give you glory. Heavenly Father, we want to bless you. We want to declare peace, O Lord, the four corners of the world in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we want to declare peace upon Russia and Ukraine, O Lord. We want to declare your peace upon your people, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to declare that let your purposes upon this nation be accomplished in the name of the Lord. Yes. Heavenly Father, we want to commit Kenya before you. We declare that Kenya shall be an island of peace, O oh Lord. We declare that no plan of the enemy shall prevail against the nation of Kenya. We declare that the four corners of Kenya shall be hidden in thee through Christ Jesus. Yes. We decree and declare that we are safe, O oh Lord. That we are safe in thee in the name of the Lord. We declare every county in this nation is at peace in the name of the Lord. Yes. Father Lord, we love you because the Prince of Peace is our yes. portion. Yes. We love yes. you and we bless you. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare peace. Amen. 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 Lastly, thank you. Lastly, before we, we finish anyone connected to you by blood as a family either it's your uncle your shangazi your cousin I don't know anyone connected to you who is not born again we are praying for the souls so I want you to open your mouth and pray for anyone connected to you who is not born again right now in the name of Jesus Open your mouth now, open your mouth now. Open your mouth now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Pray, 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 pray. None of our relatives, none of the people that are related to us shall die in sin. Call them by their name and to the, the kingdom of God. Let the spirit of God in convict them wherever they are. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are, they shall not have peace until they surrender their life to Jesus. We cover their lives with the blood of the Lamb. We open their heart to hearken to the voice of the Lord. Today, wherever they are, today, wherever they are, King of Glory, we pray they shall give their life unto Jesus. We call them unto the kingdom of God. We we'll call them into the kingdom of God. Wherever you are, come unto Jesus. Come unto Jesus. Come unto Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Just thank God for your salvation. Just thank God for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Thank God, thank God. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for salvation. We thank you, Lord, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for your water upon our life. Thank you, Lord, for you have ministered unto us this morning. Father, we bless you. We worship you, King of Glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Shangwe, Navigale Kobana Yesu. Thank you so much. Even for online viewer, 
God bless you. Let's meet next Sunday in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's have our seats.